Okay, so today evening when I was going through the comments on the ISU channel on YouTube, I found a comment in which it was asked that uh, suppose a patient is suffering from raised intracranial pressure. So it's a neuro patient and the patient is suffering from raised ICP. So whether we should switch from D5 which is a hypotonic solution to D10 which is a hypertonic solution, whether it will help it out or not. So I know many of you know the answer but I found that, that this question needs to be addressed uh, very uh, promptly or on an urgent basis because there is a basic misunderstanding flaw in this question. So, so all those who are listening, listen it very very carefully that this concept you should understand and you should make your colleagues, your juniors, your nursing staff, everybody who is working in the intensive care and emergency, they should understand this concept especially when it in terms of IV fluids. So I hope um, uh, you are not uh, bothered or by the background which I'm where I'm recording it. It's uh, I, uh, I found this place to record this. So understand two concepts. One is your osmolarity of the fluids, and the other is tonicity of the fluids. This is very very important. When we talk about osmolarity of the fluid, it means that in a given solution, in a given solution, how many osmoles or molecules are there in the fluid? That's all. We are not bothered about anything else. In a particular solution, how many molecules or osmoles are there in that fluid? That's the only thing which we need and it is the osmolarity of the solution. Now when we talk about the tonicity of the solution, it is always a comparison between two fluids and there is a semi permeable membrane in it. And this semi permeable membranes allow some solute molecules to pass through and some solute not to pass through. That means for, for some molecules it is permeable, for some molecules it is not permeable. So when we talk about the tonicity, the tonicity of the fluid is decided by the molecules which are not permeable to that semi permeable membrane. So that's it. So this is very very important when I when we are talking about the osmolarity of the solution no comparison there is a fluid and there are a set number of osmoles in it that's it. When we are talking about the tonicity of the solution we are comparing two fluids there is a semi permeable membrane and there are solutes which cannot ca cross through the uh, that membrane okay and the most important solute in our body is sodium which is an extracellular uh, which is present in extracellular fluids like that so sodium predominantly maintains the tonicity of our fluid although there are many other uh, solutes also are there potassium calcium magnesium phosphorus all those ions are there but majority of the part is uh, run by the the tonicity is maintained by the sodium now thirdly you need to understand that how the movement occurs so whenever there is a tonicity there are two solutions the two, one is hypotonic and one is hypertonic. Hypertonic means the, the con, uh, fluid is more concentrated, the amount of solutes are more in it and hypotonic solution means the amount of solutes are less in it. So if we consider that for example sodium, if the sodium in this solution is more it is will call hypertonic, if the sodium is, is in the solution is low it is called hypotonic. And why we are uh, calling sodium because in our body it maintains the osmotic uh, sorry it maintains the tonicity of the fluid so where fluid will move from less concentrated means hypotonic solution to the hypertonic solution it's the fluid which moves the water the water moves from hypotonic solution to hypertonic solution across that membrane to make it equally balanced so this hypotonic solution the fluid here solutes are less fluid are more the fluid will move solutes cannot move fluid will move and make this also equal to this solution so both of them will become isotonic so that's the amount of uh, that's the principle of movement of fluid so now coming back to our question now when we are talking about d5 or d10 percent solutions what is happening the glucose in the in our body is freely permeable in the intravascular compartment and in the intracellular compartment it can move freely so as soon as you give any solution which is containing just the glucose whether it's d5 d10 d50 the glucose goes into the intravascular compartment and then because it is freely movable it moves from intravascular compartment to interstitium in the intracellular compartment and get utilized so what remains is only the free water so free water is actually hypotonic as compared to the intracellular compartment to the cellular compartment. So this free water moves from intravascular compartment to 
your intracellular compartment and will make the cells swell and it will raise the intracranial pressure that's why any solution any solution which is containing just dextro dextrose whether it's d5 d10 d50 d25 it's hypotonic when it goes into the body oh it may be hyperosmolar if in, in d5 the less amount of osmoles are present glucose molecule d10 will be more hyperosmolar d25 will be very very hyperosmolar d50 will be very much hyperosmolar if you go and check in your icus the osmolarity of d50 it will be somewhere around 2700 and the normal osmolarity of our body is 275 to 295 so osmolarity is very very high as compared to our plasma but what we are interested in the tonicity of the solution so any dextrose containing solution which goes into the intravascular compartment the dextrose freely moves across the cells and intravascular space uh, and the extracellular fluid and it gets utilized the only remaining is water and the water becomes hypotonic it makes the intravascular compartment hypotonic and this free water extra free water moves from intravascular to intracellular and makes the cell swell and it raises the it raises the uh, icp while if we consider the tonic solutions so tonic solutions means your which is containing sodium for that matter when we are talking about the body the, the, there are other solutes also but majority of the sodium so normal saline which you call is 0.9 percent uh, saline it is isotonic to your uh, uh, intravascular compartment so the fluid will not majority move from intravascular uh, to uh, intracellular compartment for understanding of this uh, question otherwise there will be a detailed lecture on the iv fluids and then how the water moves it's different but for that for current understanding 0.9% is isotonic as compared to a plasma and the fluid will remain in the intravascular compartment it will not move if you give hypotonic solution means 0.45% saline because it is hypotonic the sodium content is low as compared to plasma the free water component is more so what will happen sodium will not move but free water will move from intravascular to the intracellular compartment and it may it will make the cell swell and raised icp now if you give 3% saline which is more than 0.9% saline or 21% saline it is hypertonic correct so it is hypertonic as compared to the uh, plasma or the intercellular compartment so in such conditions what will happen if you give 3% the fluid will move from intracellular compartment to the intravascular compartment and this will make the cell shrink and it will reduce the icp so that's the thing that's the thing so no matter what d5 d10 d25 d50 they may be hyperosmolar but they are hypotonic because glucose free movely in fact like urea also urea move freely across the membrane it may be hyperosmolar state but it is hypotonic so any dextrose containing solution which is just containing dextrose should not be given to neuro patients because it can make the cell swell move the free water uh, from intravascular to extra uh, to the intracellular compartment and can raise the icp of the patient and hyperglycemia also is detrimental to the neuro patient that's why we avoid dextrose containing solution so d5 percent d10 percent d25 d50 all are hypotonic they may be hyperosmolar but they are hypotonic while when you compare the, uh, the solution which contains sodium then you are talking about the tonicity isotonic hypotonic hypertonic like that so i hope this clarifies when you talk about the solutions you need to be clear whether you are talking about the osmolarity of the solution or whether you are talking about the tonicity of the solution osmolarity can be just the number of osmoles present in that particular solution it can be any sodium glucose anything while when you are talking tonicity of the solution that means there should be solutes which are not permeable across the semi permeable membrane especially sodium in our uh, case of iv fluids so um thank you for asking this question and sorry i am recording in a place where i got the time so thank you and see you in the next video and please 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 do re read about this concept thank you